Can role-playing games improve your sex life? What is the truth about multi-orgasmia? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, role-playing games can improve the sex life of some couples. They help foster communication, creativity, and exploration of fantasies. However, it is important that both parties are comfortable and consent to participate. Multi-orgasmia, experiencing multiple orgasms in a single sexual session, is possible but not universal. It is more common in women and can be developed with training and practice. The capacity varies among individuals and does not necessarily indicate better sexual health. Double amputation fetishism. Some individuals find sexual arousal towards the idea of double amputation, whether of legs, arms, or both, finding the representation or idea of amputation erotically stimulating. Ecological toys. With the growing environmental awareness, sex toys made from eco-friendly and sustainable materials, such as bamboo, recycled glass, and medical-grade silicone have emerged. Effects on mental health. There has been debate about the potential negative effects of pornography on mental health, including addiction, erectile dysfunction, and sexual dissatisfaction. Emerging STDs. In addition to well-known STDs such as chlamydia and gonorrhea, new STDs are emerging, such as the Zika virus and lymphogranuloma venarium, LGV, posing additional challenges for public health. Emotional connection. Foreplay is not just about physical pleasure, but also about creating a deeper emotional connection with the partner. Shared intimacy during foreplay can strengthen the emotional bond and increase satisfaction in the relationship. Erectile dysfunction and cardiovascular disease. Erectile dysfunction can be an early sign of cardiovascular disease, as they share similar risk factors such as hypertension and atherosclerosis. Erectile dysfunction and diet. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats can help prevent erectile dysfunction by promoting cardiovascular health and improving blood circulation. Erectile dysfunction and excessive alcohol. Consumption. Excessive alcohol consumption can negatively affect erectile function by interfering with the body's ability to achieve and maintain an erection. Reducing alcohol consumption can help improve erectile function in some men. Erectile dysfunction and medication side effects. In addition to prescription medications, some herbal and over-the-counter supplements may contain ingredients that cause or worsen erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction and mental health. Erectile dysfunction can significantly affect a man's mental health, causing anxiety, depression, and low self-esteem. It is important to address both the physical and psychological aspects of erectile dysfunction for a comprehensive solution. Erectile dysfunction and psychological factors. Anxiety, depression, emotional trauma, and other psychological issues can play a significant role in erectile dysfunction. Seeking help from a therapist or counselor can be helpful in addressing these emotional aspects. Ethical and moral challenges. Pornography poses ethical and moral challenges, especially regarding the representation of violence, exploitation, and consent, leading to debates about regulation and industry responsibility. Experimentation with temperatures. Some women find experimenting with different temperatures during foreplay exciting, such as using ice or warm cloths to alternate between sensations of cold and heat on the skin. Exploration of new roles. Foreplay may involve the exploration of new sexual roles and power dynamics, allowing women to experience different aspects of their sexuality and erotic expression. Exploration of taboo fantasies. Foreplay provides a safe space to explore sexual fantasies considered taboo or socially unacceptable, allowing women to express their most intimate desires without fear of judgment. Fantasy exploration. 
Foreplay provides a safe space for women to explore their deepest sexual fantasies and share them with their partners, which can increase excitement and intimacy in the relationship. Feather fetishism involves sexual attraction to the use of feathers in erotic activities, such as feather tickling, gentle caresses, or erotic tickling. Fetishes and relationships. In a romantic relationship, sharing fetishes can strengthen emotional and sexual connection. However, it's important to communicate openly and respectfully about fantasies and boundaries. Foot fetishism. Foot fetishism is one of the most common fetishes where people experience sexual arousal by observing, touching, or worshiping another person's feet. This fetish may be related to the sensuality and intimacy of this body part. G-spot stimulation. Certain sexual positions, like the coital alignment technique, CAT, are known for their ability to stimulate the G-spot, a highly sensitive area inside the vagina, which can lead to intense orgasms for some women. Gender roles. Gender expectations and traditional roles can influence the sexual positions that women are willing to try or enjoy, with some feeling more comfortable with passive or submissive roles, while others prefer to take the lead. Global industry. The pornography industry is a global industry that generates billions of dollars in revenue each year, with productions ranging from high-budget productions to amateur content. Gonorrhea is a bacterial infection that can affect the genitals, rectum, and throat. If left untreated, it can lead to serious complications such as pelvic inflammatory disease in women and epididymitis in men. Health benefits. In addition to providing sexual pleasure, sex toys can also have health benefits. For example, some vibrators can help relieve menstrual pain and muscle tension. Historical stigma. Throughout history, female masturbation has often been stigmatized and considered shameful or inappropriate. However, it is increasingly recognized as a normal and healthy practice. Holding positions. Other women may find pleasure in positions that involve some degree of holding or restraint, such as soft bondage, as long as it is practiced safely and consensually. Impact on reproductive health. Some untreated STDs can cause serious complications in reproductive health, such as pelvic inflammatory disease, infertility, and ectopic pregnancies. Impact on sexuality. Pornography can have an impact on people's perception of sexuality, influencing their preferences, fantasies, and sexual expectations. Importance of consent. Like in any sexual activity, it's essential that masturbation be consensual and conducted in a safe and respectful manner. Everyone has the right to explore their sexuality freely and without coercion. Importance of medical consultation. If a man experiences premature ejaculation persistently and it negatively affects his sexual life, it is important to seek medical and psychological help to address the issue and improve sexual quality of life. Importance of sexual self-care. Sexual self-care involves taking steps to protect sexual and emotional health, including the use of contraceptives, STD screening, and establishing healthy boundaries in sexual relationships. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.